Hello and welcome to windowsreport.com. My name is Henrik Fay. Today we're going to look at what to do if the DNS server is not responding in Windows 10. The quickest fix is to change the DNS server settings manually. Then disable your firewall, reset your router and test the connection again. If the issue persists, use the additional troubleshoot methods that I'm going to show you. The first thing is to change the DNS server manually. When you try to access a certain website, you'll automatically connect to your ISPS's DNS server. However, it can happen that your DNS server is not available. If that's the case, you'll see DNS server is not responding error message. One way to fix this problem is to change your DNS server to OpenDNS or Google DNS. This is a pretty simple procedure and you can perform it by following these steps. You'll have to open the web network connections. By doing this, you just Press the Windows key plus the X key. You'll now see a small list here and look for network connections, which should be pretty close to the top. Left click on that. Now you will see this window pop up and go down to change adapter options. Left click on that. Now select whatever network you're using. This can be an Ethernet or a Wi Fi connection. Right click on it and go to properties. Now look for the Internet Protocol version 4. You will now see a small window once you've selected the Internet Protocol version 4 and go on Properties. Once you're in here, go down until you see use the following DNS server address and make sure to click on it. Now, as the preferred DNS server, enter 8, decimal 8, decimal 8, decimal 8. The alternate DNS server, enter 8, 8, 4, 4. Alternatively, you can also enter 208, 67, 222, 222. And for the alternate, you can enter 208, 67, 220, 220. Once you've done that, press on OK. After changing the DNS server, check if the problem is solved. Keep in mind, that changing your DNS server might make your internet connection a bit slower depending on your location, so you might want to experiment with different servers. The second method is to enter your MAC address manually. This is a simple procedure, and in order to enter your MAC address, you need to find it first. To find it, go on the bottom left and type in CMD. You will now see Best Match Command Prompt. Right click on it and run it as an administrator and press Yes. Once you're in here, just simply, simply type in IP config space forward slash all. Press enter. Now, search for the physical address and make sure to write down this address or even take a screenshot just so you know what it is. Now close out of this and again go to your network connections. Again, press Windows plus the X key. Go up until you see network connections, select it. Go down to change adapters option and right click on whatever network you're using and go to properties. Now on the top you should see configure. Press on that. Go to the advanced tab and select network address from the property list. Then once you've selected it on the right side you should see a window saying value. Select it and enter the MAC address that you got from the command prompt. Be sure not to enter any dashes while entering your MAC address. Click OK to save and changes. And the third fix that we can try if the issue still persists is to install the latest drivers. Your network adapter relies on the drivers in order to work properly and if you have any problems with it, make sure to update them. You can do this by visiting the manufacturer's website and downloading the latest drivers. Some users also recommend to uninstall your network drivers before installing the new drivers. To do that, just go on the bottom left and click Windows as the X key. Now just above Network Connections you can see Device Manager. Left click on that. Go down until you see Network Adapters. And then select the one that you're using. This could be Wi Fi or Ethernet cable. For me, it's a gigabyte network connection. Right click on it and press uninstall device. The confirmation dialog will now appear. If available, click on delete driver software for this device and click uninstall. 
after you deleted the driver restart your PC. And when your PC restarts, the default driver will now be installed. Check if the problem is resolved. If the issue still persists, install the latest driver of your network device and check if that solves the issue. You can do this by using a tool, for instance, the Tweak Bits Driver Update tool, or any other kind of tool that you use to update your drivers. Thank you for very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.